Swamp Weed, that's it. What's my goal right now? Well, right now I kind of want to explore the map a little bit more. I I just got stronger recently because now I can make permanent potions. So I'm doing another sweep of the uh, of the islands, the, the places I haven't been to, except the northwest, because the cursed goblin skeletons there are really tough. Wait, is this is the sea? Oh. Oh, because I went the other way? No. Oh, I messed up. Is that smoke? No. Well, I guess I guess I'm gonna wanna be doing the uh the want posters to get gold. And I wanna buy a chainmail and upgrade it too. Okay, if it's like this, you know what? We're gonna... We're gonna go back to Silbak. Oh, I've already been to this island though, so we don't need to. Okay, this is not great. How did I miss this? I thought there was a cliff here. Oh, a sea shark. That's different. Not a swamp shark. Also a swamp golem. Oh shit, he hit me. Oh, that's my mistake then. Oh, I, I evaded too quickly. Oops. This night is lasting really long though. Unless I spent more than a full day on the swamp. That's also kind of possible, I guess. You know what? To make it a little bit easier for myself, I am going to drink this potion. at all though. Oh, yeah. I got hits. I'm guessing this is going to be slightly better against the Swamp Golem. 
I expect him to be uh, to have a similar vulnerability as as a regular one. Bloodfly, I really need you to attack me. Oh, I'm, that was dumb. Okay. Apparently, a swamp bloodfly punch you. Oh, he's actually not that difficult. Any other enemies here? This way? No, doesn't seem like it. Small chest. I totally expect him, expected him to be a lot stronger than he was, though. Okay, there is a cave here. Let's uh, deal with this uh, sea shark. Oh, you missed the sea shark. Where are you? Oh, oh yeah, that, that was very smart of me. It was menacing. I mean, yeah. He was a lot... He seemed a lot scarier than he was bef before we actually fought him. Also, they probably... Because it's a golem, it probably just has a vulnerability to... To, uh... To blunt damage. Why is this... Why is the light here? Come here. Nice. It's fireweed and swampweed. That's fine. Let's take out the torch. There was buildings here. Hmm. Also, is there anything here? Mushrooms. Okay. Now, where does this cave go, though? Because the other cave that I've been to, that I thought would go here, didn't. Wait, is this... is... Uh, give me back my torch, please. Can I have my torch, please? No? See you, blue hole. Apparently I have something in my... in my hand, that's why I can't pick it up. Okay, that was... confusing why that happened. Oh, no, no, no! Oh, we got it! Ah. Hmm... I mean, we can cast another light spell to be able to see better.
I quick save before we cast the light spell, though. Because if we quick load, it's going to get rid of it. Okay, quick save here. Let there be light. Now, if, if I could only, like, bait one of them. Now, we're baiting both. I'm gonna get ya. Aha, stupid insects. Interesting that they have two aggro types. One of them is when they see you, they shoot you with the with the poison. And when you get close, then they decide, you know what? I'm gonna intimidate that dude. Another swamp golem. Well, now that we know that he's not really that scary... Oh. Now that we know that he's not that scary, we don't even have to worry too much about being hit here. What's this? Wait, I want to look at this. This is a weapon. Manfred's Shiv. Oh, really? Ooh, an open lock rune. Huh. It's a second circle spell, though. Makes sense. It would be a little bit overpowered if it was a first circle spell. Because what you would do is... You would probably only spend the 20 points... ...on the first circle. And only use this spell, because it's actually pretty useful. Okay, where's the thing? I hear him. I saw him for a second. There he is. You should be able to see me. Wait, 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 wait. Just a second game. 145 attack? How do you do this to me? Not sure why he's not doing anything. I don't care though. I'm also barely doing any damage. I'm not critting at all, almost. Let's look at this. 104 dexterity required, and it does 145 edge damage. And also gives you 10 armor piercing and 10 100 combat bonus. And it's only worth 160 gold. Excuse me? I'm, I think it's only worth 160 because it's not something you make in order to sell. Like, we are probably going to be able to make a double bladed axe and a stonebreaker ourselves. That's why they are worth this much because fine short sword, 650 gold is a lot. Soldier's Sword, a lot weaker than the Manfred's Shiv. But it's like two times as expensive. I'm so salty about this. I'm all of the weapons, all of like the unique weapons in the world that I find seem to be based like on dexterity. Sure, if this was strength based, it would be probably like a hundred five damage for a hundred five strength. But I would still like it. I would still really, really like it. And like this, I'm salty that I'm not getting weapons for myself. Oh, 
doesn't seem to be any enemies here. But it doesn't hurt to be careful. The small lost dexterity swords? Yeah, it seems like it. Heal light wounds. Swamp breed, of course we get. It's fine. There's a sea shark and a swamp blood fly. I don't like swamp blood flies. Is there something there? Oh, there's like a big door there. Oh, let's get light, because it's slightly more useful than the torch. Oh wait, there's two swamp blood flies, that sucks. I think there's two of them. Okay, now he sees me. Now we can do this. Screw you, stupid fly. You can get to me. Oh yeah, yeah, that's the door I was looking at. Doesn't seem to be anything there. Okay, well, let's speed up this guy. Oh, he came to me. Nice. Yeah, come here. Come here. Wait, what? I, I must have been barely in his range. Because it doesn't feel like he should be able to hit me. Wait, is this before or after the fly? Uh, it's after, good. Stupid animal. He's he's got trouble going by this uh, wall here, so I'm looking just pulverize him. And I think this is a corpse. Hello, corpse. What's up? Let's see. Old coins, coins, geyser, third circle. Well, we haven't even found a third circle rune. I mean, not a third circle rune, a third circle book. We only found uh, the first one and the second one. Some swamp weed. Oh, hey! Ice book up there, huh? Question is, do I want to pick it up? I don't think I do, because I only have one telekinesis scroll, do I? Yeah. So it's not worth it to waste it. It's much more useful as a, as a scanner. It does feel a little bit quicker to do it backwards. I see, it's one of these. Okay. We need like a s uh. can't really see what's inside. Maybe this side? No? 
Oh, there's something inside. But it's gonna have to wait. I mean, we did go on an adventure. And that's what matters. We can get inside now if we've got enough old coins. Oh. Uh, I don't think I have enough of them. Uh, I got nine right now. And I think I gave like eight to the guy in the museum. If that matters. The key is a reward for 45 old coins at the museum. Okay. Good to know. So, I'm probably going to have to buy back the uh, the old coins I've sold. How many... I mean, is there more than 45 old coins in the game? Like, did I screw up if I, if I kind of missed a few? Or is it not just... Is, is it just not too big of a deal? You found about 90. Okay, so I'm not going to be too worried about it then. Mm, we have been to this island. That's where I messed up and got only one piece of ore from the node. Okay. Kind of a shame that we have to swim back, but that's okay. And it's finally getting brighter. That's also good. Nothing under the water. I'm kind of curious about the uh, underwater raving potions, because so far we haven't really encountered a situation where we where we would need one. Or maybe there would be some kind of underwater caverns or something. That would be kind of cool, though. I don't even know where I am. But we should be getting closer to the... Uh, to the... Lurker Cliffs? What was it? I don't remember the name. And there should be some kind of bounty going on here, so that's also nice. Yes, I'm in chapter 2. We did enter the town. And... Uh... Can I, can I get... No, it's not going to let me. Okay. We did pick up some bounties from the uh, notice boards. Wait, or was it this? Wait. Oh, now I'm confused. 
Was was this the uh, island with the uh, with the guy? I think this was it. So maybe I didn't visit the other one. Oh, we can visit him anyway. He did tell me to visit him from time to time. Maybe he's got something cool to say. Hello, where are you? Wait, he's not here? Maybe he's inside. Yeah, he's asleep. Hello, Mr. Castaway. What's up? Do you have anything cool to say? Interesting. Hey, you. How are you doing? I can't complain. Oh, and I have something for you. Ten openable shells. Okay, that's kind of... That's kind of very nice of him. Oyster. No, I need pearls. Okay, one. That means I have a total of four. That's nice. Five. Six. No, five. Okay. Six. A black pearl. Okay, we get a few pearls. That's nice. So we're in the south. We're in the southwestern part of the map. Yeah. But wait a second. There was another map. There was another island to the south of the swamp that's not here on the map. And I just got confused because I thought that's the one I visited. Hmm. Now, I, uh, no, I haven't swum there. I don't think I've swum that far. So I didn't go to this. Okay, well, when I, when I go get that thing, I can just check out that island because maybe there's something there. Come here, Mr. Lurker. You should be able to see me now. Come here. Wait, what's it? Healing up, okay. Some healing roots. Okay, that's good. Because with healing roots, we can make full health potions. <laughs> 